Iran has been quick to open a new consulate in Damascus, a week after a suspected Israeli airstrike destroyed the last one. Tehran's foreign minister, Hussein Amir Abdullahin, inaugurated the building alongside his Syrian counterpart on Monday as he carried out a tour of the region. He also met with Syria's president, Bashar al-Assad. Both Iran and Syria say Israel was behind the attack. Seven members of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, including two generals, were among the dead. Israel hasn't commented. Tehran, a key ally of Damascus, has vowed to retaliate and once again accused Israel's main backer, the United States, of giving the green light for the deadly attack. I want to publicly state from here, from Damascus, that the U.S. has a responsibility in this terrorist act and must be held accountable. Washington has already insisted that it had no prior knowledge of the airstrike on April 1st. The attack hasn't only angered Syria and Iran, but also the Tehran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon. One of the Iranians killed was Mohammad Reza Zahidi, a senior Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps commander and the only non-Lebanese member on Hezbollah's Shura Council, led by Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah, who reiterated on Monday that Iran would retaliate. There'll be a response from Iran. There'll be consequences. The Americans know that there will be a response. Even the Israelis know that Iran will react. I think that the whole world knows this. Zahidi's death and Hezbollah's reaction have heightened fears of Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza spiraling into the rest of the Middle East. Israel's daily exchanges of fire with Hezbollah on their shared border with Lebanon have escalated in the past week. Tehran, meanwhile, has avoided directly entering the fray in the Gaza war while supporting its allies' attacks on Israeli targets. Though it's now warned that Israeli embassies were no longer safe after the Damascus attack.